Hi everyone, thank you for joining Honeywell Lake Ventures on our discussion about miniaturized, flexible, and autonomous robotics for surgery. With traditional open surgery, many complications arise that minimally invasive surgery can mitigate. Minimally invasive surgery is a quicker and therefore cheaper option than open surgery. Among other cost savings, less time is spent in the operating room and less anesthesia is required. Furthermore, smaller incisions require less recovery time spent in the hospital. Additionally, minimally invasive surgeries are less likely to cause medical issues that require a patient to return. For these and many other reasons, miniature and flexible robotic medical devices are becoming prominent. They're able to navigate tight spaces, which makes them ideal for minimally invasive surgeries. Miniature robotic devices are small enough to fit entirely inside the body and generally do not need to be attached to a main system. Miniature robotic devices have applications in the eye, abdomen, spine, heart, and other parts of the body. Currently, some novel innovations are occurring in the abdominal and cardiovascular spaces. A common miniature device used in the abdomen is the capsule endoscopy camera. This device, shaped like a pill, contains a camera that can capture images of a patient's gastrointestinal tract. This pill makes visualization easier than using a traditional camera attached to a main system. These have been around for a while and big companies like Medtronic and Boston Scientific, among others, produce them. However, one issue with these is that it relies on gravity and natural peristalsis movements to progress through the body and it cannot control its own motion. Multiple groups of university researchers are currently solving this issue in a variety of ways. One team developed a pill camera that's controlled by an external electromagnetic field. This electromagnetic field actuates an internal motion generator within the capsule. Another team designed legs that protrude and can move back and forth to advance the capsule. Once these capsules are mobilized, they can complete tasks such as biopsies and drug delivery that were not previously possible. However, these devices have yet to reach clinical trials. New sensing technologies are being developed for cardiovascular applications to minimize surgical complications. Oftentimes, patients require epicardial needle insertions for ablations or injections. A miniature robotic walker has been developed to detect coronary arteries in the heart tissue so that the doctor can avoid them. This technology employs near-infrared spectroscopy to visualize the heart. Another sensor technology is for force feedback during a cardiovascular surgery. A miniature sensor has been developed to be added onto the end of ablation catheters. These sensors can measure the forces applied to the heart and help to stop inconsistent forces from being applied. Another useful technology for minimally invasive surgery is flexible arms and their end effectors. Flexible arms can bend in many different directions and navigate the body with ease. These arms are especially useful in natural orifice surgery. These surgery use natural orifices or bodily openings, like the mouth or the nose, as a port and they require no incisions. One example of this technology is found in this novel suturing device. This device attaches to a flexible endoscopy arm and can then enter through a natural orifice. This device makes it possible to suture an internal opening without requiring an incision. This concept was not previously possible. Lastly, autonomous robotics for surgery are becoming prominent as well. Autonomous robotics aim to be more accurate and efficient than a human operator. These innovations are largely being found in new software and algorithm developments. Some autonomy already exists in guidance systems, such as for placing screws and needles. To conclude, an exact future direction is hard to predict. There is huge potential for innovation in the medical device industry and who's to say what could come next. However, innovation will certainly continue and new devices will constantly reach the market.